Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tales. In today's video, we'll be looking at the new things that are added after installing the Laravel Breeze using Inertia.js. As you already know that we installed Laravel Breeze in the last video using Inertia.js. So in today's video, let us see what are the things that are added after installing it. And now I would like you to introduce to this video sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. Let me go to the VS code over here and let me go to the browser first. So here ecommerce.test, if we go here, then it will just visit this page and we can see here this return inertia and render welcome like this. And we have this can login, some other information over here as a key and something as a value. And we can see here it is similar to returning the view from a controller or from a route. So instead of view, we have this inertia render and instead of that blade view file, we have this view component. This welcome is if I show you over here inside the pages, we have this welcome dot view before we had to check inside the resources views folder. Now we have to check inside the resources JS pages folder and how inertia knew to look into this pages folder. We'll look into that as well. So it will go here inside the welcome view page. So how did it know? So there is a middleware called handle inertia request and it is inside this app. If you see here app HTTP middleware, okay, inside the app folder, HTTP folder and middleware for everything like related to the path of a file, then you can look over here. And here we will see this protected root view app, which means that it will look into the app.blade.php by default. So I'll show you that over here. Where is it? So resources, views and app.blade.php. And let's say if we want something other file instead of app.blade.php, let's say home.blade.php, then we have to write here home like this. Okay. So that is the thing that you need to know. It will look here inside app.blade.php and inside here we can see here mix js slash app.js and app.css. So this mix is similar to that of the asset, but let's say whenever we run npm run production, then it will automatically append the hashed version of the random query parameter. And it will be very helpful in order to bust the cache. As well as there is something in the inertia which will automatically reload our page if there is something changes in these files. So it is helpful for that as well. So these are the things that are added over here app.js and app.css. So first of all, let us look at the app.css, which is very simple. So I'll show you that first. So it's inside this JS and let me just minimize these. Okay. So inside this resources, sorry, inside this CSS, we have app.css. So these are these import Tailwind CSS things. Okay. Whenever we install Tailwind CSS, then we have to add this and this will be compiled and added here over in this public CSS. So this is the CSS that we are including over here. And I think you already know how Laravel does it. Okay. We just go here in the webpack.mix.js over here. And from here, it will convert this resources app. CSS into public CSS and here it will use post CSS import to convert the tailwind that these these things into these things and it will auto prefix which means that it will make sure that all the CSS that is generated is compatible to every browsers and after that it is also this writing this requiring this webpack config file if you look here like this which means that whenever we write at the rate 
then it will look into this resources JS folder whenever we are importing some components or JavaScript files. And here, if it is in production mix means if you run and we can run npm run watch npm run dev or npm run production so when we run npm run production then it will add version and if we just go here over here then the generated js file in the query parameters it will have a hash key which will help us to boss the calf now let us again go back to handle inertia request and that will be useful in this one as well so version so let's say whenever we ran npm run production and we are just navigating to the inertia js website then it will automatically reload the page if it finds out the hash has been changed or that production has whenever we run npm run dev it will look into the mix manifest file it will be here if i just show you this mix manifest file and here it will be some kind of hashes it will look over here and it will know that something has changed so instead of sending ajax request it will automatically reload the page because of that we'll always have a fresh file in our website the user or the one who is browsing our website will always get the fresh content and here we have this share method whatever we return from here from here this will be added to each and every request it will be added to the response of each and every request so we have to be very careful before passing anything over here we have to pass very limited data over here okay so this is the handle inertia request so we have looked into the app.css now let us look at the app.js so resources js app.js okay. it will convert this app.js into this where is that public okay into this app.js and if i just take you to this webpack.config sorry not here but here so here it will convert this into public okay it will just compile everything over here and pass it to the public js so let us go here in the resources js app.js and here it is including bootstrap this is not bootstrap ui thing okay the bootstrap just means anything that you prepare before doing something so here in the bootstrap it is just requiring load as and axios and in the headers it is saying this x requested with xml http request which means it will always use the ajax request and there are some pusher and echo things which is commented and we don't need it so here we have pusher and axios and here if we look here these are the things that are needed to set up the inertia js which we can find in the inertia js documentation as well and this is by default on to us whenever we installed breeze so here it is just showing the title for each and every pages and here we'll see this dot slash pages slash this name so from this line inertia js knew how to render that welcome.view file so let me take you to this web.php file whatever we return from here this name okay this welcome it will be just added over here it will look inside these pages so from app it will look into pages and then it will look into this name which is welcome.php so inside the pages there is this welcome.php so it will render this page and these are the setup that is required in order to run the inertia js and also there is a mix in this is route and it is done so that we can use this route method in each and every components and this route method is coming from the jiggy package if i show you composer json jiggy so this is this jiggy package using this jiggy package we can use route method in our javascript similar to that of the laravel route and similarly this is inertia progress so here suppose let's say we go here inside the login and or let's say we go in the register or visit any other pages then we'll see here some bar like this okay that will run from left to right so if you want to change the color of that bar then you can just write whatever color you want and also you can change like width of the bar and other things which we can find in the inertia.js documentation so this is the very basic things that are added similarly if we look here in the web.php so these are the things added this authentication routes and this is here this auth route and here we can see all the authentication related logic register login forgot password password reset verify email and you can see here confirm password logout everything is over here and we can just modify it in our own way it is very very customizable and also let me take you to this welcome.view 
and you can see here define props and it is using this script setup okay view 3 script setup way of writing components and let me again take you to this web.psv whatever things that are passed from here can be accessed as props in a view and we can easily do this this is just a simple thing about inertia js and you can see here we have so many other things over here components and all these components are generated whenever we install breeze so we have this button checkbox drop down we have input label input error component navigation link and some of the layouts we have this authenticated and guest layout whenever we just go here sorry if we just go here in the login then it is using this guest layout and after we log in then it will use this authenticated layout so let me just use some random email over here okay like this and sorry not this let me first register let me just use some random things like this and register over here now it registered me and directly took me to the dashboard and it is using a different layout which is this authenticated layout so after this introduction i hope you knew a little bit about what are the things that were added after installing laravel breeze using inertia in our project and from the next video we'll be starting crud for i think roles and permission and then we'll do crud for users then for category and for products and after that we'll start making the front end and i don't know guys how the front end will look because i am a terrible designer and maybe i think i'll just use some of the free themes available in the internet so thank you for watching have a great day bye